Good morning. Today is Saturday, September the 17th, and our lesson this morning is, To Whom Will You Liken God? Who have you put in God's place? <clears throat> Who do you worship without realizing that you put in more importance than the worship, fellowship, and godliness of your life? more than God. What's more important in your life than God? We have put so many things. Our lesson this morning is coming from Isaiah, the 40th chapter, the 15th verse through the 20th. And the scripture lesson says, Behold, the nations are like a drop from a bucket, and are accounted as the dust on the scales. Behold, he takes up the coastlands like fine dust. Lebanon would not suffice for Pharaoh, nor are his beasts enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are counted by him as less than nothing, an emptiness. To whom, then, will you liken God? Or what likeness compare with him? An idol? A craftsman? Cast it, and a goldsmith overlays it with gold and cast it cast for it silver chains. He who is too impoverished for an offering chooses wood that will not rot. He seeks out a skillful craftsman to seek to set up an idol that will not move. Amen. This is such a true and powerful lesson. We have put so many things in front of God. Uh, our lifestyle. You can see those that have the the our fine cars, our in, in embellished homes that has so much more than we'll ever use or need. Uh, you take those that do not have as much as others. You can go down the road and and see people that's not even able to or will not uh, afford a vehicle. We'll be walking down the road talking on the cell phones, uh, 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 riding their bicycles talking on the cell phone. We put so many things, but yet and still, if we are asked to put 10% of our earnings to the Lord, we 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 act like we have, uh, uh, someone had cursed us. We put so many things above the Lord. We have to stop and look at what we are doing. We, we say the Lord is not doing this and the Lord is not doing that. And what are we not doing? It's just like uh, others that we want something from us. Someone wants something from us. And we quickly will say, well, they don't do nothing for me. If God did us that way, we would be in such a fix. He still opens his arms wide and said, come to me. I'm going to read you a passage from the Matthew Henry commentary. It says, Whatever we esteem or love, fear or hope in more than God, that creature we make equal with God. Though we do not make images or worship them, he that is so poor that he has scarcely a sacrifice to offer, yet will not be withhold of God of his own. They spare no cause upon their idols. We grudge what is spent in the service of our God to prove the, the greatness of God. The prophet appeals to all ages and nations. Those who are ignorant of this are willingly ignorant. God has the command of all creatures and of all crafted things. The prophet directs us to use our reason as well as our senses to consider who created the host of heaven and to pay our homage to him. That is in portions of tomorrow's lesson, but I wanted to add that with it so we wouldn't be left as I said, hanging out there. Let's change our lifestyle. Let's start a little bit at a time. One thing at a time we start working on until we uh, get that under control. Let us change who we are to be more like Christ. 
I pray that you meditate on this wonderful lesson today, and y'all have a blessed day.